I want to start with the most important thing, how much I love Eurovision. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I love that movie. Oh. So I'm just curious, is that something that people want to always talk to you about, or is it just me? My partner wants to talk about it with me a lot. Actually, my, my, my brother-in-law asked if I would send a video to his friend who he said has been watching it too much. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to talk about Eurovision with him anymore. Well, you just send him a video that's, so we can be done with this. That's very, so it's very, very sweet, very uh, flattering. I'm a very um, a big fan of David. And I yes. think that you, uh, all of you guys did such a great job on that. Thank you. And the music is really uh, good. Again, there's a reason I'm bringing it up with you. It's <laughs> okay. really good. Like, I really enjoy that movie. Um, That's great. So, obviously, I want to talk to you because I saw the first 15, 20 minutes of Doctor Strange. Oh, did you? Yeah, and so they showed it here at CinemaCon. Right. Uh, and you're very... I'm just curious, like, what did it mean being able to work with Sam Raimi and, and go back to playing that character again? I I love Sam so much. You know, he's, he's just such a pro. But he's so humble and so collaborative. He's the nicest man. You know, it's always those ones that do the horror films that are are so nice. It's so strange. Like Wes Craven, same thing. Nicest, most soft-spoken person, you know? And then they just exercise it all sure. on the screen, which is the best place to do it. So I loved working with Sam. And I love this character. I was so happy to be back with her and with Benedict. He's one of the greatest actors to get to work opposite. You don't have to work at all. It's, he just does it all for you. You just stand there and listen. It's great. Um, but I, I, I was so happy to be back and part of it. Do, do you want to tease anything about the movie? or? I don't think I'm legally allowed to do that. <laughs> sure. I'll just say that you're in it. I am in it. I'm definitely. And I have more than one scene. Okay, well there we go. Um, jumping into why I get to actually talk to you, you're very selective about what you take on. What was it about, um, uh, are you there God, like that said, I wanna do this? I mean, the fact that Judy Bloom was giving her blessing after 50 years for that movie to finally be made, for the book to be adapted was, I think a really big deal. Um, it's so iconic. It's, it's such a huge part of so many people's childhoods. Um, and for that very reason, scary to take it on, you know, because you want to live up to what everyone's imagined all these years. But um, fortunately, you know, I had some leeway with my character because she's bigger, more expanded in the film than in the book. But um, I just felt like it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. And, and I love Judy Bloom so much, grew up reading her and uh, it felt pretty surreal to be in that company. Uh, is there anything you want to tease people about the film, like what they can look forward to, or? Um, I think it's like a grown-up movie about adolescents that that adole young people and grown-ups will enjoy. I think it's really, really honest about how hard it can be being a young person and being a mother and being a father and um, how weird it is to be a human. Sure. <laughs> um, so I think it's just so, so, so relatable. I think it's going to inspire so much conversation. I think it's going to be an event, you know, in the theaters, which we're all so excited to get back to. And I think this is going to provide a lot of that, that void you know fill that void that's been missing um yeah i don't know hopefully it'll it'll be a lot of fun on that note i need to stop with you i'm just going to say i wish you nothing but the best and congrats on everything